Hello everybody, today I will be showing y'all how to cook up a psychedelic and trippy Travis Scott type sample, kinda like something that would be on Astroworld, so let me play the sample real quick. So this sound is from Analog Lab. It's called called their Realm IB E Piano 2. This is what it sounds like, the first melody. Basically the main thing you need to do to make a really cool chord progression like this one, you go up here to this little purple like three lines and you choose minor Hungarian and then you choose like whatever key you want it creates like so much more of a psychedelic feel so and so then we started with a D which is the fifth um which is the fifth note of the scale and that's just like a major chord from the five I've got part of the next chord and this would be the sixth and then it goes down to a four so five six four is also another like super classic part chord progression which you'll hear like pretty much in every genre like in pain melodies, that like super generic piano melody, that's like uh, um, five six four, I think. It's something to do with those three numbers. Same with uh, hyper pop, Corvette, Corvette, like that super stereotypical one. And I used a bunch of like our half step differences, and that's pretty much the darkest sound you can get. So, for instance, even these two chords, they're all one semitone differences, which is why the minor Hungarian scale works so good. Then we got a 4 here, and then from the 4 we go back into a 5, and then instead of using the top note in A sharp, I instead introduced a 7th. Then for effects, I have a reef, uh, reverb, just with the wet turned up quite a lot. A chorus, default settings, and I just turn it down to like 60%. Took out the lows up to 200 hertz to make sure that it doesn't conflict with the 808. And then just one more final EQ. This next melody is from Surge, which is a free plugin that I would highly recommend. If you just go into the leads, this sign lead. And this is the melody we got. So you can hear some kind of weird stuff going on and I'll deconstruct that in a second. But to start out with, I pretty much just copy pasted these top notes of the chord so that you can get like, kind of an easy scaffold, and then you can deviate from there. Um, keeping the sound going and playing another note which ends gives it kind of like a slide. And then the sauce here is in the channel pitch, and you'll see this a lot in Travis Scott's songs. Here you can see that the pitch kind of bends, and here what I've done is I've made it go like slide up while it's playing, and it kind of just adds some more noticeable ability to this. Then here I pitched it down like 300 cents, which is like part of the scale. You'll want to make sure it's still within the scale. So, and the mixing on this lead is pretty simple. It's just a reverb, the same chorus, and an EQ to take out some of the lows and some of the harsh frequencies you get from a sine wave sound. All right, so next sound is from Citrus, which is a stock plugin. And this is under the organ section called four draw bars. This is like one of my favorite sounds. And basically, I just copy pasted like the chords that I had played. I just made this strummed out repeating chord. I don't, I don't know, I just had that idea. I just heard like a kind of repeating short chord like this. And then I just copy pasted the same chords that we're playing. So it's it kind of like accentuates some of the chords to make them sound a little cooler. And for mixing on this, there's a reverb. This one's pretty intense. There's a chorus, again default, just turned it down. A phaser, bring down the max step and bring up the minimum depth. Then I got an EQ to take out the lows and some harsh highs. And then another EQ just to remove some muddiness. This next sound is from Toxic Biohazard, another furry stock plugin for FL Studio. It's called Galaxy under the pad section and this is like such a good preset. This is one of the best free presets on FL. With this pad, I'm basically playing one note that I make a super long slide for, which is an octave high, and it's like A sharp. So it kind of just creates this like big sweep effect, so.
and it sounds really cool with the beat and then for mixing on this i got a reverb so here i kind of boosted some of these lower frequencies then there's a wider that automates so it kind of becomes wider as it slides which is really cool and to finish the sample off i just got a little one shot from the free cymatics apex one shot kit so this bass is pretty simple i just copied the root notes of the chords and then i got this melody playing so all there really is to remember is when you're using like a plucky bass for this like you'll want to have like kind of these little runs and like extra notes to make it sound a little cooler i got like these slides because i didn't want these notes to be as noticeable with like the strong like pluck of the bass all right so that's the whole sample all right so now time to cook up some drums have a variety of like weird sounding hi-hats kind of like sicko mode does with this i changed the pattern to be like normal again the snare pattern and this kick pattern is very inspired of the first beat of stargazing as well and so i just copy pasted my bass pattern and now i'm just going to copy paste my kick pattern and then just copy that rhythm What I'm going to do is I'm going to open wider, which is like this free plugin. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an automation clip to control like how wide the sound gets. So what I've done here, I know there's a plugin, but it costs money probably. I've basically created a patcher, one of the routes, it has like an EQ, which cuts out 60 Hz, and that's linked to a wider that's set to 134%, and then I got this one which has like the other frequencies, and then it's connected to a wider set to 0%, so basically you don't want the bass frequencies to be stereoized. I'm giving you all some like serious sauce right now, so go better like and subscribe, and with the beat, this will sound like this now. And now that that's all finished, I'm going to mix and arrange it and I'll be back with the final beat. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Make sure you follow my Instagram and my TikTok linked below. And uh, yeah, I'll play the final beat now.